Well, welcome back. Shadow of War is an epic third-person open-world action RPG and the sequel to the award-winning Shadow of Mordor. This walkthrough takes place in the game, where we will show you one example of the epic personal stories created through the next generation of the revolutionary Nemesis system. We're pretty to excited about this Little game. Earth, we will be journeying deep behind enemy lines and using the new ring of power to forge an army and conquer Mordor from within. On the world map, we see the many regions we can conquer. Every one of these regions is a distinct environment with unique enemies and allies, including overlords, war chiefs, captains, followers, fortresses, strongholds, missions, and more. Excellent. Today, war we're chiefs. going to attack and conquer the mountain valley of Saragost and take it from Sauron's overlord, Ur Hakon, the Dragon Lord. Let's launch the assault. This game looks pretty good. So we're pretty excited just because you can be, you know, you can have you build your community. Let's see what the. It's not only our enemies and the world that make the Nemesis system unique. It's also our followers. Rav Dug the Iron Mount has armored cavalry that can charge through the flames of artillery fire. The Demolisher is a living battering ram with the power to smash enemy defenses. Hmm. With our followers at our side, we must first face the Stormbringer. The Bright Lord, I fought for you, bled for you, and you left me to die. But I was reborn with the power of the Dark Lord. He has a history and personal grudge against us. He used to be part of our army before he betrayed us and joined the Dark Lord. He also I wonder carries if we're a building our own armies and you know, we join ranks and we get promoted within the game, I think. The Overlord has deployed multiple fort defenses, including siege beasts and flame archers. <laughs> Let's see the gameplay here. Look at that. <laughs> Our first objective will be to break through the main gate. Break through the main gate. Whoa, look at check him climb that wall out. Badass. <laughs> Whoa. I think they kind of incorporate a little bit of like a. Kind of like Quantum Break. You know how they move in the game, Quantum Break? This is kind of similar to that. <laughs> oh man. Sparta. This is for Sparta. Stormbringer defeated. We've broken the curse and can unleash our power as the demolisher breaches the gate, allowing our army to storm the fort. <laughs> See there? Check that out. It's kind of like a quantum break. 
This is going to be a really good game. I'm looking forward to battling it out with you guys here on YouTube Live. We'll also be putting this on Twitter and Facebook. Let's just enjoy some more of this game action. You know, I think that uh, as you're developing your characters in your army, uh, you start out at a certain level and you get promoted within the warlords uh, and you join factions. So this is going to be a really good game. I'm, I'm excited to see the community on it and, uh, you know, check us out for online gaming, Low DD Shane. Yeah, so check it out. Ooh, check it out. <laughs> oh, sick. They did a good job with this game. Man. And of course, this is just alpha gameplay, so this one looks really good. Oof. Damn. 
Dean. You've terrified the flame of war. Now bend him to your will. Bend him to your will. The ring of power allows us to dominate the minds of our enemies. I am yours, Compelling them to join our growing army. Now, with the power of the new ring and the help of our followers, we've defeated the war chiefs. So I wonder if... Because obviously our followers, that's going to be multiple game players, I think. And I wonder if there's going to be the same for the enemy side. We can face our ultimate nemesis in this fort, the Dragon Lord himself. It's time to take what is ours. With the nemesis system, every overlord faced by every player will be unique to their world. And the throne room itself has been customized by the overlord as his personal combat arena. Customized? So we can customize... I wonder if it's going to be that much in-game uh, AI. <laughs> Oof. Here we go, here we go. Totally got smacked. And I think that's you calling for your assistance of your fellow uh, community players. Bam! Lost a leg on that. With the Overlord defeated, Fort Saragost and this region of Mordor are ours. And we claim that area. Conquering the region rewards us with experience, loot, new followers and resources. It also creates a personal base from which we train our forces, increase our power, and upgrade our defenses against Sauron's counterattacks. So I think that we're going to be fighting as a screen, community. Where we can review our enemies and command our followers. We need to select one to become the new overlord so he can spread his influence throughout the region. And see, an entirely original nemesis fortress. Here we get promoted. This war chief is a necromancer. As a he war chief. the fort in sorcery to confuse and terrify attackers. This war chief is a beast master. He will allow us to turn the creatures of Mordor against our enemies. But we're going to promote Ragdu, the war chief who charged through that artillery assault and helped us bring down Ord Hakon, the dragon lord. As a marauder, he can loot and pillage the region for us. With our new overlord in place, we can upgrade the fortress, increasing its defenses and enlarging the size and power of our army. That's totally awesome. They did a good job on this game. I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to play it. And hopefully you guys are pretty excited for it too. Um, 
definitely check them out on Facebook, uh, Shadow of Wars. It's uh, definitely going to be a good community to join. And I'm really looking forward to playing against you guys online. And uh, I just wanted to end with uh, a final discussion on the clickbait uh, that people felt was kind of taken advantage of. You know, it wasn't my intention to do that type of video. Um, you know, we were just excited about this game. We wanted to show you any possible, any kind of possible uh, video that they would be as far as gameplay. And I guarantee you, anything that we put on here is going to be out there in the game, in game, of, you know, Shadow of War. So, we're looking forward to seeing the community. We're, we're definitely going to be joining and uh, playing against you guys, so looking forward to it.